Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you watch this. How you doing? All right, so it is 11 o'clock. I just got in from the gym. I'm, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little sweaty. Um, it's actually cold in here, y'all. I think the high today is like 50, and yesterday the high was like 70-something for the last couple of days, actually. We've been running the AC. And then today my house is 66, I think it said, when I went upstairs. It's cold, and I'm a little sweaty. But I'm hungry. And I promise to share this little mini journey with you all. So today, I woke up this morning and I juice oranges. I meant to film it, but I was kind of rushing to get out the house, get to the gym. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. So I ended up juicing orange juice and I made, I pretty much filled up this glass right here and drank it. So I don't even know what this is um, in ounces, but it's pretty big, it's just short. And so I drank that. I did make a shot of coffee, but I'm gonna be um, real with y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that, it's still in here. Like I had a sip or two and was like, I don't know. You know, I just didn't feel like I wanted it or whatever. And a entire glass of water with some lime juice. So now that it is 11 o'clock, my body still feels like it's on that same, I wanna eat at 11, be done by 16 that I've been doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a smoothie bowl so I can go ahead and fill myself up. I did buy some more bananas today. I did not go to Aldi's like I wanted to. I came to ATV to look for watermelon and they have watermelon, really nice size watermelon for $6.99, but it was, didn't have seeds. So I got some more bananas with yellow. Hopefully they'll spot a little bit faster. I'm gonna have to tell the kids not to eat those because those are the ones I need to chop up and put in the freezer. So I need to get some Ziploc bags. I did get one thing of garlic because I told y'all we didn't have any. And H-E-B is high as, so I got one. <laughs> and some sun-dried tomatoes. So these are considered raw foods too. So, but these also come, these come with zesty pepper. So this is, might be good blended with some olive oil or something like that as a dressing or on some um, zucchini noodles. So let me grab the stuff for my, um, bowl i don't know do i want to do the walnuts with i didn't soak any walnuts last night or this morning i didn't but it doesn't matter we're gonna do the walnuts anyway i didn't buy any water oh my goodness yeah okay so oh yeah I didn't do a lot at the gym, just so you know. I'm going to tell you that in a minute. Let me grab everything I need for this bowl. Because I had a, a taste for like a blueberry bowl. And I don't know why I thought I had blueberries in the um, freezer, but I don't. But what I am going to do is go back to Aldi's, get more pineapples, more bananas, blueberries, whatever it was that's on sale, and wash them real good and freeze them so I can have them as like the frozen fruit. So let's we'll do a strawberry one real quick. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to do walnuts. And y'all know, normally I would strain this uh, milk, but I'm not going to strain it. Um, so I'm just using walnuts. I'm not using like the normal measurement I would use to make like the milk mixture. Uh, but I am going to use, what is this? A half a cup. It's, it's probably too much anyway, but it's all good. It's going to be so filling all that matters to me it's gonna add a little bit of chia seeds probably like a not chia seeds i'm gonna add a little bit of hemp seeds which is probably like a teaspoon not a lot i am going to use um some filtered water well where is it i just had it oh. Yeah, that's all I need because I'm making a bowl and not a whole smoothie. So let's go ahead and blend. Oh man, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot because look how much that is. Let me let me make um I'm gonna pour it in a cup only because I'm not gonna need this much when I go to make my bowl. This is my milk. My milk. All right, let's get some frozen berries in here. I'm gonna do 
So that's like a half a cup and a few more of the strawberries. So I don't really stress about measuring if I'm just eating a bunch of raw foods. I'm not going to lie to you because at the end of the day, yeah. So that's one banana. And I might just put this one on top. All right, so I am going to use some protein. I don't even have hardy nut in here. It is a vegan protein. It has a lot of really good benefits to it. I've shared this with you all before, but it's um, Organ Protein, one of my favorites. I am going to use a little bit of the Bilway Collagen. It is a super fiber plus collagen. It's watermelon flavor, but I'm not going to use a lot of it. Just enough. I just want like a collagen boost or whatever to my, oh, this smells so good, <laughs> to my bowl. And a little fiber. I'll tell you why in a minute. All right, so dates, definitely adding one, at least one date. And these can be like a lot of sugar. It really can, but you know, I don't really have smoothie bowls without dates. I just like the texture of them. It just reminds me of pieces of like caramel um, inside of a, like when you take a bite or whatever. Love that. Oh man, I just dropped the seed. All right, so. We have everything in here, right? Yep, that I want to put in here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. And then we're going to blend it. All right, so full transparency, I am craving granola at this time. Like something sweet, something like, um, almost like cake-like too, like breads and all that. I'm craving that right now. Um, I'm not surprised because around this time when it's cold, I do like to bake bread. I like to eat hot foods, you know, soups and whatever. So, I I'm not surprised at all. All right, so let's dress this bowl up a little bit. Of course, we're going to add some chia seeds. Very filling, healthy, good for you, plus um, a slight crunch. <laughs> Some blueberries that we washed on yesterday. You would have already seen that video, of course. All right, and then I'm going to add some of my faves, which is blackberries. Yeah, I like blackberries. Probably blackberries, then strawberries when it comes to berries. Then goji berries, then blueberries. Bananas always help me with my um, cravings when it comes like sweet and... Because um, you know I like banana bread. So if I just do bananas with a sprinkle of cinnamon, that'll give me like... You know, like the taste of... But you know, ain't nothing like a good old banana bread. We all know that, but still, it helps with the cravings. It definitely does. The sugar cravings. You know, sugar is like a drug, honey. Sugar's worse than a drug. <laughs> so it is what it is. One of the hardest things to kick when it comes to addictions. And I don't even eat a lot of sweets. I'm not really a sweet person, but I do like breads. My favorite, raw walnuts. Of course, it's going to give me that crunch that I'm missing from the granola that I normally use. But, um, yeah, so. So this is my lunch, high protein, high in antioxidants, high um, in <laughs> natural sugars, of course, um, but yeah. All right, so went to the gym day. I really went to just go in the sauna, but I ended up walking into the room where I normally go on the treadmill, and I was like, well, while I'm in here, let me just go in here. I know we're going to work out, work out, like the face or anything like that, because I just got to be careful 
when I do like these raw things where I go raw for a couple of days or I'm juicing or whatever, I try not to overdo it so I don't get lightheaded or anything like that. But because I had that orange juice this morning and a lot of water, I felt really good. Actually had some energy. So I went ahead and got on the treadmill. Ended up being on there for like 30 minutes. And I just walked briskly. I didn't do all that extra that I normally do. The running and the inclining and whatever. I didn't do none of that. Incline was on too. Like simple. Got for that and sat in that sauna for 25 minutes and came out. Just to pour out, pull out everything out my skin. Like detoxing wise. That's all I wanted to do. Um, and I sweat a lot in there. So how do I feel so far? It's been like a little bit over 30 hours, right? I'm trying to remember how I used to feel when I used to juice or whatever. But I just can't even. Mm -mm. But I can tell you this. So yesterday, I was running back and forth, running back and forth to the restaurant. I was like, if I got to pee one more time. And that was between water, juicing, and all that fruit I ate. I ate a lot of fruit yesterday. And a lot of uh, oranges, which is a lot of juice, right? And then um, I ended up eating that salad, right? With well, that salad... Um, held me off all the way up until like nine o'clock at night, almost nine, I'd say eight o'clock. And I was like, oh girl, you haven't eaten all day. Like you can't do this, eat a big old salad and be like, I'm done all day. Like I'm not old matting. So I made some guacamole, just a simple guac and I, nothing fancy. And I used the celery for the chips and using the celery and crunching, I realized that celery takes so long to eat. <laughs> So I'm dipping and I'm like to the point where I couldn't even eat it all because I was tired of chewing from just the celery. If you know, you know. It's not like chips where you can get eat a million of them. Celery, you're like, okay, how many of these sticks can I eat? Okay, so by the time I got through with that, drank some more water, used the restroom again, went to bed. I was so freaking like tired, like I'm going to bed. That's the one thing I tell you. When I'm juicing or eating raw foods or detoxing, doing any type of that type of thing, I sleep. I sleep. And it, it, which is good because that's when my body is healing, when I'm just at rest and I'm in REM sleep, good sleep. Okay, woke up this morning for something, use the restroom again. Got up and I tell you, I made the juice or whatever. And um, so now I'm just eating my bowl and it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'll probably come back on here. Mm -hmm. I gotta clean that up. We were supposed to juice yesterday, Tara and I. Girl, by the time we got through talking, there's so much stuff going on in school. And ugh. I was like, oh, girl, I'm tired. So we didn't juice yesterday, but they made their own juices, like the grapefruit juice. I guess they drank it this morning because I saw the pickles in the trash. Um, mm. Unless I do it today. So. Whatever I juice today, I'll film today. And then whatever I eat today, I'll film that. Mm-hmm. Every time I eat, I'll film that. So, you know. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So, I'm about to juice. I just had um, an avocado, like a quick guacamole. And I literally was using the celery as a dip. This is what I just ate. I'm actually kind of full. I thought I was hungry until I started eating, but so I have one pineapple going on around here, a lot of ginger, because I don't know how much I'm going to juice real quick. I'm hoping to just juice until I can't juice no more real quick. So I'll probably chop up at least another one or two pineapples, and then I just have this celery and this bunch of uh, spinach. So I'm going to... Just get this started and get going. And as I juice, I'll show you how much I make. I'm probably gonna drink one tonight and then have me one for tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, this juicer is an older model juicer, so I wouldn't like suggest it. Um, I actually need a new one. <laughs> but I'm gonna see if I can get like this food juice or not. I'm sorry. So my goal is to try to juice at least three of these jars so I can have one like tonight, two tomorrow. These are actually like really milk replacements. These are big enough. But it depends on what you're juicing. But with the pineapple and the celery and the spinach, yeah, it's definitely enough for a meal replacement. Right, since I plan on juicing quite a bit, I'm just going to try to make even pours. 
could I get up to that certain amount? This will make me go ahead and finish juicing. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty much done with everything that I chopped up. I'm going to try to add the rest, just nothing but orange juice. So hopefully I can make enough orange juice to fill up the top of these. Yeah, so I might use this machine for some of the orange juice and the other machine. I don't want to burn it out. I thought about doing grapefruit juice, but that grapefruit, well, I could try. This grapefruit is, um, it's juicy, but it's kind of sour. It's not as sweet. Oh, this one smells good, though. <laughs> Maybe one I had just wasn't that good. So I might just throw some grapefruits in here, too, but I prefer just to have the oranges, and I like grapefruit drink by itself, but, um, yeah, let me see how much, um, Let's see how much juice this will make real quick. Yeah, it's probably better if I use that other juicer because this is not, um, this is not getting all the juice out. I can still see the juice in here. So this is better for like carrots, celery, that type of stuff. And my other juicer, the citrus juice, is better for citrus. All right, so I washed a bunch of these yesterday. And I'm just going to go ahead and juice some more of these. Um, probably about a good, I don't know, eight or ten of these. And um, call it a day. So I have the... Um, what do you call it? A citrus juicer. And um, this is it. Let me find something to juice it into. Very simple, easy juicer. It's linked in my Amazon store too. I use this one quite a bit. But um, yeah, I use this one quite a bit. And Sometimes it goes out on me because I've had it for a couple of years. I normally just let it cool off and then go back. But as you see, it's not as much pulp as like that other machine. So yeah, it's just easy. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six oranges so far. Um, Let's see. So six oranges and I'm a, like two and a half cups. So, fun fact, um, maybe in a lifetime, as an adult, I have bought orange juice maybe three or four times in a lifetime, and it was to go with a drink. I've never liked orange juice at the grocery store, and I've never liked pulp, like ever, ever, ever. But you see, this pulp is just swimming in here, and now I can drink it with no problem. Now, this is what's left. That's what's left. I'm just going to... Squeeze that out a little bit. But yeah, that's crazy, huh? All that from concentrate and da-da-da. I don't know. I just never been a juice drinker, I don't think. Never really been into juice, like drinking juice. I, I don't know why, but um, yeah, it's just never really been me. Until I started juicing, like, like having real fruit juices. Actually... It kind of started back when Christina, Raw Christina, was living here in Houston. We used to volunteer at her, um, at her thing, um, the raw food stand or whatever. And she would make drinks and sell juice, right? And then one of my girlfriends used to work for her selling juice, right? I would go and make all these juices to sell for like the market day or whatever, right? And that's when I really got into juicing. I bought all them juicers. It's all on Instagram. 
I'm sure I documented all that. I'm sure all that's on there for about, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. It's been a long time since I've been juicing, but um, yeah, Rob Christina got me into juicing. Uh, maybe nine or 10 years ago. Oh, so how was Christopher? Yeah, so maybe, I don't even remember, maybe before Christopher? Oh wow, it's been a long time. All right, so I'm gonna clean my mess up. Here's all my orange peels. Um, I don't know, I might make an orange cleaner. I hear that um, people are, are really into that. We used to use the orange peels and cut them and put them in vinegar and that make your orange like cleaner. I don't know, I don't think about it. I almost doubt it. And I got a ton of orange peels right now for my um, tea, so I don't need any, but I'm gonna leave them out just in case I change my mind. Cause I might change my mind and cut up some orange peels and wash them real good and dehydrate them for uh, tea. But for right now, I can sip on this one. Uh, these two is going in my um, mini fridge. And yeah, I didn't even touch these pineapples over here. I just probably need to cut them up. I got some pineapple in the fridge in my bedroom right now. I need to probably cut up some for them. I'll let them cut up one. But yeah, so I'll think about dehydrating some of this. I kind of feel like doing it, but I'm going to wait just in case they need to use the um, air fryer. Oh my goodness. So I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm just sitting here chilling, watching TV, eating. Y'all, I forgot to um, eat, so it's kind of late, but I'm going to show you what I'm eating. All right, so this is what I'm snacking on. It is some lettuce, um, tomatoes, onions. It's actually the leftovers from the kids' salads. They had salads today with grilled chicken. I have some walnuts here, like the walnut meat with a little cumin, garlic, sea salt it's not sea salt it's actually pink salt so i have tomatoes some colored peppers and a drizzle of like it's an avocado mixed with like some cashew cream I'm, I'm gonna make it again tomorrow and actually better than what it looks like tonight but i was hungry so i thought i would just kind of like eat on this let me show you Well, this is going to fall off. All right, so this is it. Nothing left. And I do not eat in my room unless it's like snacks. But girl, I was hungry. Hey, y'all. So last night, <laughs> I was tired last night. I'm not going to lie. I was so freaking tired last night. I need to do a flat surface. So tired. Um, Hold on. Yeah, so last night I um, realized, like, it's like I was upstairs doing something. I got tired and I sat in the bed to read and I just went to sleep. And I was like, oh, it's too early for this. She like ended up 3 o'clock in the morning with doing this. So I got up. I came downstairs. I had some walnuts that had been soaking in the bowl uh, to do, like, a walnut meat type of thing today. And I was like, you know what, let me just take some of these walnuts, you know, pat them dry, throw a little, you know, I think I had garlic. And um, red onions, some avocado, some cilantro, and a little lime juice, and put them on some tart. Um, put them on like the the boats, the lettuce boats, right? And they were so good. <laughs> oh, and jalapeno. It was so freaking good. I was like, oh, this is good. But I think I just want um, something. I don't know. But then I was full, and I tried to drink my juice last night that I made. So yesterday, what we did, pineapple. Um, celery and ginger. So I tried to drink some of that juice, but not all because I knew that one jar is pretty much like a meal to me. I actually added um, spinach to that jar too, and stuff like that. So it has spinach, celery, pineapple, ginger, and a little bit of orange juice. So yeah, that thing is good. Oh my God. So this morning I got up and I uh, drank some water, drank some juice, went to the restroom because baby, you got stuffy all day long. Okay. Pee and poop. Pee and poop. Yeah. So um, maybe TMI, but if I'm going to be honest with this little, you know, reset, I'm going to tell y'all all of it. All right. So did that this morning. No coffee, no tea, nothing hot. I haven't had anything hot in this 40 degrees outside of freezing. I want tea so bad, and I'm going to make some in, in a little bit. 
I um, drank some of the juice. I didn't get to drink all of it. I went ahead and packed me a fruit bowl um, to go to the gym. I knew I had errands to run, but by the time I left the gym, I was tired. I had plenty of energy like while I was in the midst of working out. But once I got in the car, I think it was just cold. I didn't want to get in my car. So I did eat some. I had some raw cashews, some berries, oranges, whatever. This will be eaten though in a little bit. Um, yeah, for sure. But I ate a lot of the, uh, ate all the bananas that was in the bag and some of the oranges as soon as I got out the gym. Um, yeah, so I knew I wanted to do something like different today. Um, so I think I'm gonna do some zucchini noodles. I haven't had these in so long. I don't only really saute them though. But I'm gonna take this zucchini while I have Miss Martha out and go ahead and zucchini me some noodles real quick and uh, put some in a container for another day. But I'm gonna do like a um, a raw pasta type of dish. And um, yeah, so let's just get into it so I can show you how I'm gonna make this. I've seen people make a lot of these and I've made one similar, but the noodles were sauteed. So this is not the first time I've eaten raw noodles, but raw, um, oh yeah, I know that, but still. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, let me get a container. All right, so this is just a an attachment that you can get, let me show you, from KitchenAid. If you have a KitchenAid, I bought this years ago. Y'all might remember this if you've been around at least like six, seven years ago. It's just an attachment and it comes with a bunch of pieces for spiralizing. And um, let me show you. For like spiralizing or shredding or whatever, slicing, whatever, peeling, potatoes and everything. So. Yeah, I've had this for a long time. But, um, oh my God, I just dropped it. But I haven't used it in forever, child. So, hold on. Normally... You can see like the core, but the core piece is kind of like was, well, the middle. It's not the core, but y'all know. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like what's left. I normally try to make sure the end pieces are flat. So it'll spin correctly, like have a flat surface on both ends, the larger end to the back. This thing is so easy to use, but um, let me make sure it's locked on here good. The last time it wouldn't. There we go. I am going to try to remember to link a zucchini spiralizer that you can do by hand. Um, they have them at Amazon. When you're doing a lot, though, you just need to get one of those cheap $20 machines if you're doing a lot. If you're not, just get one of the handhelds or whatever. I've seen them at the dollar store, like King Dollar or something. So, you know. Y'all yeah, know I saved my scraps for broth. So, these little pieces. They're good in um, soups, too. I haven't made a cold soup, because I'm not a fan of cold soups, to be completely honest. Um, I might try a cold soup before this little journey is over. But um, for right now, um, I, I don't do cold soups. All right, so all I have to do is um, take these little pieces off. Yeah, so it just looks like this. Really simple. I like KitchenAid because you can do all the gadgets. Just like that new, um, it's not new, but that, what's that blender called? The uh, Vitamix Everybody Light. That big one has where you can do all these extra gadgets now. What you call it? Like a food processor, a um, food processor, a chopper or something in the blender. I was like, oh, and the hot blender, right? Why can't I get this off? I forgot how to take this off. I have to press down. And... Oh, well, whatever. Okay. So that's done. Let me put Miss Martha back in the pantry where she goes. And here's all my zoodles. My zoodles. Zucchini noodles. 
Okie dokie. So I picked up some sun-dried tomatoes. I can't tell what's in here. I know it says sun-dried tomatoes, red pepper. Yeah, so it is sun-dried tomatoes and red peppers. So I hear you can have that on a raw food diet. So we're going to make the sauce for the zoodles. Because y'all know I have something. This These noodles are cold. <laughs> these noodles are cold, friend. <laughs> don't get it twisted. This going to, and it's cold in here. Like I, I don't know how this is going to have to sit out and warm up. But this is going to have to warm up. Just give me a minute. Don't let these people fool you. <laughs> and make you think, oh, it's wonderful. And it's, it's, it's probably is wonderful. Because I feel amazing. I'm not going to lie. My body feels so good. Like, mmm. I don't know how to describe it. Like, this morning, I got up and got out of bed, right? And normally, I kind of roll over, kind of get up, because I'm caught in the center of my lower back. I'm like, mm, you know, I don't want to get a catch. I um, haven't got any charter horses. No catches in the back. Just rolled over and got out of bed. And it didn't even dawn on me until I was in the bathroom. I was like, hmm, okay. Heal your body then. <laughs> ah, you better heal your body, friend. That's all I could do is pump myself up, child. So we're about to make us a raw pasta sauce, right? So I have these cashews that's been soaking in water. Let me rinse these real quick. I get the water off of them rather. So it's probably like a half a cup. Yeah. You know, cashews make everything creamy, girl. I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar because it's good for me. That's all. This is just the organic one, simply nature or whatever. Not that other one. That other one decide they want to change the ingredients up a little bit, change the potency. So what happens when everybody start talking about stuff and companies start selling out? So yeah. Anyway, I'm put a clove of garlic in here. It don't even seem like it's even enough. Yeah, there's no way. Then we'll get another one. <laughs> All right, garlic number two going in. I'm going to add um, probably just two red peppers, and they're just the small sweet peppers, but um, I like the color, of course. I like a little color in my food. Um, I have some poblano pepper left over from something. Oh, when I made the kids those chowder beans the other day. So I'm going to put some of that in here because, oh girl, who don't like peppers? <laughs> I'm just saying like real spicy peppers. I ain't gonna lie, if it was hot outside, I would make this and sit and sit outside until my plate warmed up. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I like hot food. Unless it's like juice or whatever, I really like hot food. Like, that kind of hot. And it don't even burn my tongue hot. I love hot food. Alright, so some onions. And then I'm going to chop up onions to put in my zoodles. Um, this Yesterday, Christopher uh, got home from school. And he was talking to his friend. He was, and his friend was asking him what he was eating. Because I made them grilled chicken. Uh, just some grilled chicken strips. They had some organic chicken on sale. I don't know if I tell y'all that, Aldi. And um, so I did the grilled chicken strips. And then they had all this salad stuff that they could just, we like a bunch of salad toppers stuff, just chopped up. And he made this huge salad. Then on the side, he had a huge um, fruit bowl. And his friend was like, what is all that? <laughs> He was like, man, it's so good to come downstairs, open the refrigerator, and there's so much fruit in here. Like, I'm telling y'all, when I say my kids like raw food, raw food too, they love raw food. So just take your scraps like these, put them in the bag, because y'all know if I already washed everything. And um, these are really good for when you want to boil. You ain't veggie broth. So far, okay, you know what's in here so far. Let's, let's get a bowl. Hold on. All right. So I have that in the bowl. I'm going to add some onions to it. So for the mushrooms, I'm just going to sprinkle them with salt and pepper. That'll help them to like turn a little bit. I don't know how to describe it, but you'll see what I mean. They're already starting to turn, y'all. And I bought these on clearance. It was on clearance. I gotta cook the rest today. But I'm gonna put sea salt on here. So I'm gonna 
take some arugula. One of my favorite greens. Next to kale, of course. Oh, man. It just smells spicy. these orange peppers the mushrooms chop them just a little bit yeah they're starting to sweat um i hear white mushrooms portobello mushrooms are better uh raw the white and the portobello so this is just going to give it that added texture my mom should be excited about all the textures once we start tossing this baby up. Yeah, my mom should just be excited. All right, so I don't know if cumin is considered like processed. I'm, I'm hoping it's not. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. Um, I like the flavor of cumin. I want to put chili powder and everything in here, but I'm going to just stop at that um, because, yeah, I just love the flavor of like cumin and the sea salt. And that's not sea salt, that's pink salt. This is my um, sun dried tomatoes that's been soaking to make them a little bit more softer so that they will blend well. And I'm going to use the water of this for the actual, like, sauce to toss my, it's not a salad, girl. Pasta. Come on now. We're trying to make pasta, friend. <laughs> Come on now. Just imagine with me, friend. Come on. Use your imagination. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what these things like. She tastes like cheese. <laughs> she this this tastes like cheese. Mm-hmm. Almost remind me of like um sun-dried tomato alfredo. Like the you know how you get um you know how you get alfredo. Um, but it's like um, with cheese in it. It's like a sun-dried cheesy alfredo. That's what this tastes like. Crazy. 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 You know, this is enough room in this bowl to, to do all this. Girl, this is, this is pretty. So y'all can see. Oh, it's the garlic. Girl, what if I had fresh basil? Oh, y'all gonna better tell me nothing. It's a lot. I'm not gonna even baby eat all this. My eyes are way bigger than my stomach, that's for sure. That's, oh my God, this smells amazing. Girl, my eyes are burning. I don't know if it's this, or if it's this pepper and stuff that's in front of me. Look at these zoodles. Girl, why it smells so good? Like, I don't want to eat that cold. But I'm just going to sit down and eat. I'm just going to imagine this has been sitting out and my microwave broke or something. All right, let's taste this together. I think what I'm going to do is, is cover it and leave it sitting out. I think it's going to be too cold. But I'm going to taste it anyway. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Girl, this is good. Oh, this is good. Let this marinate a little bit. Oh my goodness. Let the flavors just ooze into the noodles. Whatever it's called, zucchini. Oh, okay. 
Let me, let me get it together. Y'all, this is good. <laughs> mm. Baby, tear over tear this up. And it's spicy. Show it. Got a little to it. I, girl, I don't think it's the black pepper, though. I think it's that poblano pepper. Girl, y'all know y'all want some of this scatty. Come get some of this scatties. <laughs> These, these zeddies, baby. These zoonies, these uh, zucchini spaghetti. Mmm. Mmm. If this thing was hot, mmm. Got to put this in a container and let it warm up. It's too cold for me. Yeah, it's too cold. But it's so good. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing. Like, I love all these foods and flavors and textures. And, oh, my goodness, everything just tastes so bright and sharp. I can't describe it. Everything just tastes bright. Like, my uh, senses are on 10 right now. I'm Y'all, I got my hand right here underneath my leg. My, my fingers are frozen. <laughs> it's cold. So, it's cold and I'm eating cold food. But this is so good. I can put that sauce on anything. Like, whenever I get done doing this, whatever. I can put that sauce on some warm noodles, right? Mmm. Some eggless noodles. Or this zucchini. Just heat it up. Lord, I'm trying to give my body a break, though, y'all. We're just eating raw food, so I'm definitely not going to heat it up. And as you see, I can't stop eating it. Um, but I really need to put this aside and let this warm up by itself. Like room temperature warm up. <laughs> I'm gonna put a skull in here. This probably is room temp. Mmm. You did that. Come on, friend. Um. Listen, you gotta make this thing interesting. You see, I was trying my best not to throw no avocado oil, no uh, what you call that oil, extra virgin olive oil in this thing. I was just trying to do as raw as I could. Oh, I did good. Cause normally when I make like the Alfredo sauce, I use a like um, a milk with it, like an almond milk or something, to make it even more creamier. Shh. Baby, this is good. <laughs> Describe it. First of all, it's spicy, like jalapeno. And then, you know how um, arugula has a little kick to it, and then that pure garlic, two cloves. Man, I'm talking about probiotics, prebiotics. Um, what else is in this thing? We got some fiber, a lot of fiber. We have uh, mushrooms. What's mushrooms good for besides uh, taste and texture like meat? Uh, meat. Uh, I forget what my friend used to call it. Oh, the fungus. He'd be like, you eat all them funguses. <laughs> and do. And will continue. Mm. I'm going to eat this. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to wait for it to warm up. I, I'm hungry. Some fresh basil, though? <sighs> yeah. It's like all these flavors and all these textures in my mouth. This is good. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. My teeth go. <laughs> this shit go. Yeah, I did that. I'm gonna share that recipe. <clears throat> Somebody need to taste that. Somebody need to taste that. Imagine this heated up. Off the chain. I taste that and was like, what? It immediately tastes like I got creamy Alfredo with that roasted uh, sun-dried tomatoes or whatever. I wanted that sun dried tomato pack was already spicy with them peppers in it because baby, this thing is spicy. Let me tell you about this eating like this, right? Going to the bathroom. For for example, like today, went to the bathroom and uh, I know this is TMI, sorry, but you need to know everything. And I promise you, it felt like somebody, you know how you go and get a massage and then massage your back down or whatever? It felt like somebody was rubbing my back down and then all of a sudden, 
poop was in the toilet. Like, it just felt like somebody was doing this. And I, I could feel it coming down my back. I was like, oh, my God. Can you imagine? So, I eat really good. Really good. And I think... But I do know that I often eat... A, okay, so in my mind, I eat really good. I make really good choices most of the time. But um, I eat a lot of carbs and a lot of beans without rest in between, right? So what that does is it'll compact. Like all those carbs compact. Like um, cream of wheat, oatmeal, quinoa. And I need something in between. I know I do now. Girl, I feel like five pound fighter today. <laughs> Y'all know I don't weigh myself. But I literally felt like five pound fighter when I came from the gym and went to the restroom. was like, where all this come from? Because I ain't ate no food, but like this kind of stuff. And last, well, I ain't, I haven't even eaten this. I've been juicing and eating raw fruits and vegetables without all these sauces and stuff. So I'm like, what's really going on? <laughs> Um, yeah, so I know someone asked how long was I going to do this for until I just feel like I'm good. You know what I mean? I know that when my birthday come up and my trip come up, it'll probably be similar to this, but it'll probably, but I'm going to have some kind of hot food included. I'm sure. Um, it won't be nothing crazy, probably soups and stuff, but, uh, I'm going to be cognizant of what I'm eating though, because baby, I was like, Strange things are happening. She thirsty, drinking a lot of water. I'm um, running back and forth to the restroom like I just didn't go. Like, what's left up in there? I feel like um, energy is on 10. I feel um, like peace. Like, I'm so, I'm already like the type of person who don't like to be disturbed when it comes to my peace. But I feel like I wake up at peace. I wake up at peace. Like, I don't feel like... I need to rush to put out the mat to have to sit down. Like, I don't feel like I need to rush to um, sit and just meditate 15 minutes. I feel like I wake up like that. Like, I feel like I wake up at peace. This is really weird. I've been, um, you know, just praying a lot, asking for clarity, and just trying to relieve a lot of stress. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, I do know, and studies have been shown how certain foods or whatever can affect, like, your brain or whatever. And I feel like um, the brain fog I had that I used to take vitamins for, girl, I feel like um, it's just, like I can see it like moving. Like I can see it going away. I can see sharper now. Mm, I can focus more now. Probably not near about it as much as if I just kept going. Like it just kept going. Like this is, you could, I see a difference. Like, bam. I'm like, wow. Like so much stuff, so much so it makes you want to just keep going, keep going to see that what, what else is going to happen. Or what, what else is, you know, that's how I feel. But I really want to focus on healing my back and my body and um, giving my body a break from eating all these foods. Just all this process and carbs, carbs and more carbs. So, yeah, girl, this is good. The, the fork is cold. It's cold. When you eat raw... Or like high raw or like vegan most of the time. And you're coming off an American diet. Your taste buds change. So you actually taste food differently than what you would originally. Because, you know, your whole your whole body and your system change. But literally your taste buds will change. And a lot of times you'll crave more of like... Like every once in a while you hear me say, Oh, God, I just need a juice. I crave a juice. Back in the day, it would be like, ooh, I crave a piece of cheesecake. So it's like as time go, you change, your cravings change or whatever. As you introduce your body to these healthier, better foods and you rid yourself of all the American foods, right? Even if you're just rebooting. If you, I have a friend of mine who reboots and it's like every so many months because her body needs a reboot. Like she feel it like, ooh, I need to go on and get on these juices for three days. And I think it's amazing when someone can say, once every month, they do a three to five day fast. I think that's really good for your brain, um, your mental health, as well as your, you know, physical being. So, yeah, that's good.